Hello everybody. This is a video to show you how the newly released Markdown Capture Chrome Web Extension by Bipsit works. So as you can see, when you install the extension from the Google Chrome Web Store, you will see this B for Bipsit icon. That is an extension that will enable you to copy the proper Markdown from ChatGPT when you're logged in. So let me take you a tour around of how this extension works. So when you have downloaded this app uh, extension, the extension the, from the Chrome Web Store, you should pin it here so that you can see it at all times. Right after pinning it here, now you just go into your chat GPD and here you can see I'm already logged in. So you need to log in. This does not work out work if you are logged out. So once you have logged in, then you go about as usual in chat GPD giving your prompt. Let's say I say create one page notes for me on matrices and determinants and I hit enter. Now I'll let chat GPD as usual do its thing, generate the whole content for me and I'll wait for it to finish generating that. Once it's done generating, I will scroll down to the bottom and to the end of the message. Now, here's where the magic is. If you see at the bottom, now there is a new icon that will appear here. It is the same as the red massive mark icon that you see, but it's the copy markdown button that comes from the new Bipsit markdown capture Chrome extension. So if your extension is um, you know, active and loaded properly in your web browser, the Chrome browser, then you will definitely see this red copy markdown icon by Bipsit at the end of your chat GPT response. So now instead of clicking the copy button, which was by chat GPT, the native copy button by chat GPT, you do not have to do this. Instead, you have to click this red button, the red copy markdown button. So just when you click it, you will see this green tick. That means that here you will get a notification as well as you saw markdown copy. If you want to see what has been copied automatically, you can click on this Bipsit uh, pin for your extension. And here you can see this interface will appear. This uh, interface will show you the captured messages. So you can see here in this conversation, one message has been captured. So you can see here captured messages as one. Uh, here you can select this message. If there were multiple messages, you would get an option to select all of them. I'll show that to you in a minute. So here is one that you can collect, uh, click on, and then you can copy it, or there's even a copy icon next here. So you just have to copy it. So now your markdown has been copied. As usual, the way you were doing it earlier, go to Massive Mark Playground on Bipset and click the red icon here and do a paste control v or if you are pasting it from your mouse the same way here you can see now the entire markdown is here you can see all the symbols everything it's proper markdown render just like you were getting it earlier from the native button but now you will get it from our red copy markdown button click insert as usual and give it a second uh, so it's loaded everything has come just the same content everything as usual, you click download as docx. And here you go. There is our document. I'll just open it and show it to you. All right. You can see it's loading. Let me just show it to you. It works perfectly. So no more broken, nothing, no messy equations. Everything is just as it should be, truly. Just like you saw it in chat GPT, nothing will be broken, no more broken math or anything. Everything works wonderfully. Now, there's another interesting thing. I'll just clean this. There's another interesting thing that we have done in the extension is that sometimes you have multiple responses. You are carrying out a conversation with your LLM and there are multiple responses from the LLM. So one way is that you do it one by one for all the responses, but I'll just show you in a minute what we have done. 
So let's say I go ahead and say now create another cheat sheet for kinematics. So let ChatGPT do its thing that it's doing. I'll wait for it to finish. And as usual, I'll go to the end of the response. Right. So as soon as it finishes, you can see new markdown captured appears at the top right. So automatically, if I show you right now, then you can see this is from the earlier one, the one on the top. So at the bottom, it will keep stacking the responses. It's auto capturing these messages and it is sending the markdown automatically here. But if you don't want to copy it from here, you can as usual do the copy markdown here and then you can just go to Bipsit and paste it here, insert, and voila, everything is just as it should be, just as it was. But if you don't want to do it like this, one by one, and suppose you have an ongoing conversation and there's too many responses, so all the responses have been auto-captured here as well. Now you can see the captured messages are two because there are two converse, two conversation turns that I have had with ChatGPT. So what you can do is you can keep having your conversation and it will auto capture these messages. And once you are done, you don't have to individually go to each uh, you know, response and do these buttons one by one and do a one-on-one -on -one transfer. You can simply come to this capturing dialog box that shows all the messages that have been captured and you just do a select all. When you do a select all, you can see both of the messages are highlighted. Simply copy them both, and both of them can be transferred at the same time. You can see here, this is my earlier message, and this is my second message. So both of these have been transferred at the same time. Now, even if you had like 50 of these, you don't have to do 50 one-on-one -on -one transfers, back going back and forth from ChatGPT to Bipsit to Bipsit to ChatGPT. No. All at once, you can do 50 conversations or, I mean, however many conversations you have, you just do a select all and you are ready with both the content added one below the other, okay? They, both of them will come in uh, the order that you have had the conversation. So this message came first, so I have put it on the top and this message came second, so it's come on the second number. So similarly, if you have like a third response or a fourth response and so on, it will keep on stacking them here. And you simply have to do a select all and you can copy them at the same time. Another thing that you can do is you have to select it all here and click export markdown. When you click export markdown, you will get a notepad kind of raw markdown file because many a times you have to take it to other places like you may not want to take it to Notion, Obsidian or other such kind of things or you know anywhere else. So both of these have been downloaded. You know, you see here's the response number one. And if I scroll down, I'll show you here is the beginning of response number two. You will see that they have been separated like these by line breaks. So both of these can get selected. Now, if you don't want both of these to be selected or if you don't want all the messages to be selected, let me add one more uh, message to it and then shows you how it uh, helps when there are more than one messages. So let me just generate another one for you, another response for you. So now remember, we'll have three total responses. And uh, as I said, you don't have to, you can keep having your conversations and in the background, it will keep capturing the responses that are coming uh, for you from ChatGPT. You don't even have to do it one-on-one. -on -one. But if you want to copy just any one of them, then obviously there is a button given at the end. You just Take it from there and you can paste it wherever you want in Bipsit. If not, then you can, if you are intending to copy all of them, then of course it's auto capturing it for you and you just go to that uh, message manager and uh, do your thing. So you can see new MD captured message has come. That means this must be added to that stack. So I'll now see, as I said, three captured messages. So this is from my first conversation. This is from my second conversation, from my third conversation. 
Here also, all of them have their individual copy message, message buttons and their timestamps. So you can see like in what order you had these conversations. So if you want to do any one of them, you can copy any one of them and you know go here and paste it. Of course, on Bipset, Massive Mark, like you were doing earlier, it will work perfectly. But if you don't want to do it one on one, if you want to capture all of them and it's simple, you will select all. All three will be selected. You can even deselect. Maybe you want to do first and third. So here you can deselect any one. You can select all of them. You can have few of them selected. So if you click here, you will deselect all if you change your mind. Now, even if you click here, select all, then you can just do an export markdown and you will have those exported as a Markdown MD file. So you can put it here if you want to upload your Markdown anywhere else, suppose to any LLM because you, know, you want to parse it to somewhere else, then you can take it from there. Now, this is something to clear the queue, of course. If you want to clear all these messages, you just click it here. If you want to copy all of them, you can do it either individually, singularly, or you just click this copy button too. We are soon going to introduce a send to Massive Mark button where you will be able to directly send it to your Massive Mark from here itself, but as of now, not. Uh, so this is about it. So I'll just copy it here, all three of my messages. I'll just clean it here so you can see it from the beginning. Uh, do it your red icon way and then click paste here, click insert. Now I'll just show you that all the three messages would have appeared. I'll just download the doc so you can see that everything appears smooth with all the formatting preserved. Here is my document. Let me open my document and show it to you. Great, so I'll just enable editing here. So here you can see this is the first matrices and determinants cheat sheet that I had done. So this is message number one response number one from chat GPD. Then if you remember, we did the kinematics cheat sheet. So this is response number two. And lastly, in the end, we did an angular momentum cheat sheet. So here is response number three. So just with one click, now there is a bulk copy option and bulk export option. So you can export it as markdown in bulk. You can copy it and paste it in one go. Like it will definitely save you a lot of time if you have, you know, maybe multiple conversations in the same thread. This was also a demanded feature, so we have done it this time in the extension itself. So all good, all is like that. I hope you'll enjoy these new features that are there. And uh, you know, you can obviously do singularly also, I showed you from here. You can also do multiple messages of your choice from here. Just choose the message that you want to. Maybe you want to do one and third then only one and third will be copied. Maybe you want to do just two and three, maybe two and three. If you have like many of those, maybe 10, 100, 40, 50, I don't know. So you can select and choose as well. You can see here the timestamps. That will also give you an idea. Here it's shown how many messages you have selected. So that's all. And uh, for everyone, we have also given a light and dark mode so you can Choose whatever you prefer. There is this is the dark mode. This is how it's visible in the dark mode. This is how it's visible in the light mode. So whichever mode you prefer, you can go for that. And there is remember this copy markdown button should be showing to you if your extension is working properly. If you face any difficulty, as usual, you can contact us on our emails and even on the live chat. Thank you, thank you. I look forward to your feedbacks once you install it.